Dear students, in the last video, I had explained the introduction to communication, what is modulation, why it is used in the communication, and different types of modulation. In that, analog modulation, that means continuous wave modulation. In that, amplitude modulation, frequency modulation, and phase modulation. But in this video, I will explain and design an expression for the instantaneous voltage of amplitude modulated wave, definition of AM modulation index of AM wave, graphical analysis of modulation index in amplitude modulated wave, frequency spectrum of AM wave, and bandwidth of amplitude modulated wave. You know, in the last video, I had explained the amplitude modulations. That means the process of changing the amplitude of the high frequency signal, that means carrier signal, in accordance with the amplitude of the information signal is known as amplitude modulation. In order, I mean, in amplitude modulated wave, the frequency remains constant. In this, the information signal is a low frequency audio signal, that means baseband signal. It is also known as modulating signal, as is as shown. The high frequency signal. I mean, carrier signal is also called as radio frequency signal. This is the amplitude modulated wave. Next, expression for the instantaneous voltage of amplitude modulated wave. Let the instantaneous voltage of the information signal be EM equals E C sin E M sin omega M into T. Let the instantaneous voltage of the carrier signal be E C equals E C sin omega C T. Next, the phase angle remains the same, hence it is not considered in both the expressions. In amplitude modulated wave, the amplitude of the carrier signal is changed in accordance with the amplitude of the information signal. Therefore, the instantaneous voltage of amplitude modulated wave is given by E equals EC plus EM sin omega M into T. Say that equation 3. Next, substitute for EM in equation 3, we get E equals EC plus EM sin omega M into T into sin omega C T. E equals EC into 1 plus EM by EC sin omega M into T into sin omega C T. That means we are taking EC common in this equation. Next, modulation index. MA equals to EM by EC. That means it is defined as the ratio of maximum peak value of modulating signal to the maximum peak value of carrier signal. That means MA equals to EM by EC. Therefore, E equals EC 1 plus MA, MA equals to EM by EC, MA sin omega M into T into sin omega CT. Therefore, E equals EC sin omega C T plus E C M A sin omega C T into sin omega M into T. We know that e, we know that sin A sin B equals of cos A minus B minus cos A plus B. So therefore the equation becomes E equals E C sin omega C T plus E C M A divided by 2 cos omega C minus omega M into T minus E C M A divided by 2 cos omega C plus omega M into T. This is the expression for instantaneous voltage of amplitude modulated wave. So, observe this equation. That means the instantaneous voltage of amplitude modulated wave equation. Actually, it has three components. The first component, you know, the carrier signal with frequency Fc and amplitude Ec. Observe this equation, you know, the Ec sin omega Ct. So, in that, with Fc, carrier signal with Fc and amplitude Ec. So, next, 
This is the first component and second component. Observe this equation. Is e m made divided by two cos omega c plus omega m into t. You know the omega c equals to two pi f c and omega m equals to two pi f m. So upper set band with frequency f c plus f m and amplitude e c m made divided by two. This is the second component. The third component. You observe this equation. E c m made divided by two. Cos omega c minus omega m into t. You know the omega is equals to two pi f, two pi f. Therefore, lower set band with frequency f c minus f m and amplitude e c m a divided by two. Next, modulation index of amplitude modulated wave. That means m a. It is a measure of depth of modulation. The modulation index is defined as the ratio of maximum peak value of modulating signal to the maximum peak value of carrier signal. That means M A equals E M by E C. Percentage of modulation M A equals to E M by E C into hundred. Next, graphical analysis of modulation index in the amplitude modulated wave. Observe the figure. You know. Two E M equals from figure two E M equals E maximum minus E minimum. Two E M means from ear to ear. Two two E M equals E maximum minus E minimum minus E minimum. So next, from figure E C equals E maximum minus E M. E C equals E maximum minus E M. Substitute for E M. I mean, next graphical analysis of modulation index in amplitude modulated wave. Model, you know the modulation index in amplitude modulated wave equals m a equals to e m by e c. That means it is defined as the ratio of peak value of information signal. That means modulating signal to the peak value of carrier signal. That means m a equals to e m by e c. From figure, I had explained on the time two e m equals to e maximum minus e minimum. Therefore, E M equals E maximum minus E M E M divided by two. From figure E C equals to E maximum minus E M. Say this equation two. Substitute for E M in equation two, we get E C equals E maximum minus E min maximum minus E minimum divided by two. E C equals two E maximum minus E maximum plus E minimum divided by two. E C therefore E C equals E maximum plus E minimum divided by two. Substitute for E M and E C in equation one. We get M A equals E maximum minus E minimum divided by two into two divided by E maximum minus so E maximum plus E minimum. Therefore, the modulation index of amplitude modulated wave M A equals E maximum minus E minimum divided by E maximum plus E minimum. This is the expression for modulation index in amplitude modulated wave. The modulation index value lies in between zero and one for faithful modulation. For faithful modulation is a good for good modulation. Observe these figures. In the case A, for M A equals M A is less than one. At that time, it provides a faithful modulation. That means it gives a good modulation. In case B, for M A equals to one, for M A equals to one, it gives a maximum modulation. That means hundred percent modulation. In the case C, for M A is greater than one. It results in 
over modulation. Hence, distortion sets during the reception of information signal. That means there is no information signal. We can say. Next, frequency spectrum of amplitude modulated wave. You know the instantaneous voltage of amplitude modulated wave is given by this equation E equals to E C sin omega C T plus E C M A divided by 2 cos omega C minus omega M into T minus E C M A divided by 2 cos omega C plus omega M into T. Next, observe the speaker frequency spectrum of AM wave. Actually, it consists of first point, actually it consists of three components, you know, carrier signal with FC and amplitude EC, an upper side band of frequency FC plus FM and amplitude MEC divided by 2 and a lower side band of frequency FC minus FM and amplitude MEC divided by 2. Second point, the amplitude of the side bands are same and they are equally placed on the either side of the FC. Hence, frequency spectrum is symmetry. Third point, the frequency and the phase of the modulated signal remains constant. Fourth point, the amplitude of the sideband is depend on modulation index. Fifth point, the bandwidth of the amplitude modulated wave is given by delta F equals to 2 FM. That means bandwidth equals to FUSB minus FLSB. You know the FUSB means FC plus FM. FLSB means FC minus FM. Therefore, FC plus FM minus FC plus FM. That means 2FM. Bandwidth of amplitude modulated wave is equals to 2FM. Thank you.